Hi everyone, I'm Hugo from the Oculus team and guess what? It is Oculus Go time. Here it is, we've just launched our first standalone all-in-one VR headset. We built it in partnership with Xiaomi and Qualcomm and it is by far the quickest, easiest way to get into VR. You don't need to connect it to a phone or to a PC, it's all-in-one so it just works and it has a thousand apps, games and experiences for you to try. We're pricing it at $199. Welcome to the unboxing video. So I'm gonna start by taking off the top box right here. I'm gonna set it on the side. What I'll do first is I'll take off um, this plastic cover. Uh, we've got the controller right here. I'm gonna set it on the side. Here is the Oculus Go accessories box, which we're gonna take a look at first. Uh, so I'm gonna open this and right away you'll see right here, these are all the components inside of the box so you know what you're getting. Starting with uh, the power brick, this is the power adapter. It's a five volt, two amp rated uh, fast charging adapter. What we've got here is uh, what we call a glasses spacer. This is just an accessory that gives you a little bit more room inside of the headset if you want to wear glasses. USB charger cable, uh, as well as user's guide and uh, a cleaning cloth uh, for the lenses, which can come in handy. And then for uh, the controller, we've got two things here. Uh, this is the lanyard you should attach to the controller and also a single AA battery. Okay, now we're gonna talk about the headset. Right here, what you see is pretty clear instruction. Uh, grab your phone to get started. So this will instruct you to install the Oculus app on your phone so that you can set up the headset to begin with. I will also take away the two protective plastic covers from the lenses. So the first thing I wanna talk about is the strap architecture. It was really important for us when designing this product to make sure that it was comfortable for anyone. So we have this really soft sort of flexible straps that you can easily adjust over here. You can adjust them on both sides. We've made it really flexible also uh, by including a top strap, but allowing you to remove it if you prefer, depending on what type of hair you have and so on and so forth. So I'm gonna go ahead and remove this top strap here as well. And what you'll see right away is that this thing is so comfortable to wear. You know, I can put it on and take it off and it takes literally seconds, not even. It takes like half a second. Uh, and it's absolutely great. Next thing I wanna do is show you the inside of the headset a bit. So for that, I'm gonna take off the main straps as well over here. So we're gonna start with this part of the system here, which is the facial interface. We've built it with a really soft and breathable material. It was important for it to be incredibly comfortable because of course it's the part of the headset that's touching your face. Next thing I wanna to point to is this proximity sensor right here. What it does is detect when you've put on the headset so it can turn on the display right away. So what happens is you put it on, Boom, it turns on the display. You're in VR instantly. You don't need to hit the power button. Now let's talk about optics. We wanted Oculus Go to be an absolute leap in comfort and visual clarity. And we did that with two technologies. First of all, it's the display panel, which you cannot see. Of course, it's inside the headset. We're using a fast switch LCD display. That's WQHD. That's 2560 by 1440 resolution. That's 42% higher resolution than Oculus Rift. So you're definitely gonna notice the difference. And these are our second generation lenses. They are by far the best lenses that we've ever built. You're definitely going to notice less glare and even higher image quality with them. One thing I wanted to say about lenses as well is another accessory that we're introducing with Oculus Go. If you wear glasses, if you wear prescription glasses, you can wear Oculus Go over your prescription glasses and it'll be very comfortable. But we're giving you one more option. Uh, these are prescription lenses for Oculus Go and I have one of them over here. You can order them on oculus.com and we're gonna send you a personalized prescription lens accessory, which you can install in just a couple of seconds. They snap in on top uh, of the lenses um, and you can just wear them normally. Next thing I wanna show you is the integrated audio system that we built for Oculus Go. We wanted to make sure that folks could wear Oculus Go without headphones. So it's really easy to put it on and take it off like I showed you earlier. The way we did this is really cool. What we have are built-in speakers on both sides of the headset. And the way they work is they inject sound inside an air channel that's inside of the strap system. So the sound travels from here all the way down here and it comes out through this little slot here in the strap system right next to your ear. So you can still hear really great immersive sound without having to wear headphones. And in case you might ask, yes, Oculus Go has a headphone jack. It's right here right next to the micro USB port. And the last thing I wanna show you um, are the two buttons on the top here. You've got the power button uh, in the center. You really only need that if you wanna shut down or power it up uh, because on regular use, the proximity sensor will take care of powering the screen on and off for you. And then over here are the volume buttons which you'll be able to hit with your left hand 
uh, you know, at any time to turn the volume up or down. The next thing I want to do is talk about the Oculus Go controller. Wear it with the lanyard. So this was designed by the same team that created Touch, the Oculus Rift controllers that you may be familiar with. You've got this sort of familiar front trigger button right here, uh, which is kind of really easy to hit. And then on the top, uh, you've got a clickable touchpad. So you can use that to scroll up and down, left and right, uh, but also click. And then right below that are two system buttons. We've got our back button and also the Oculus Home button. The Home button will take you home so that you can launch apps at any time. But the other thing that the Oculus Home button will do is allow you to change your viewing angle. So for example, if you want to watch a movie in VR while lying down on your couch, you can do that. You can actually place the screen at any angle by just holding that button while getting yourself into position. One last thing to note about the headset is Qualcomm Snapdragon 821. You get at least two hours of gaming and at least two and a half hours of video watching. We also have two storage variants, a 32 gigabyte and a 64 gigabyte version. We doubled the storage you know, for more games, apps, and so on. And finally, I wanna show you the Oculus app, which you can install on your Android phone or iPhone. You're gonna use this app to set up and configure uh, the headset. But the best thing about it, of course, is the fact that you get access to all of the apps and games that are available in the Oculus Store. From here, you can click to install and it'll automatically download via Wi-Fi to your headset so it's ready to go when you put it on. And that's Oculus Go, everyone. It's priced at $199 for 32 gigs and $249 for 64 gigs. You can order it online right now on Oculus.com in 23 countries around the world. If you're in the US, you can also pick it up at Amazon, Best Buy, or New Egg. And if you wanna try it live before you buy, look it up in your nearest Best Buy store. And it's coming to retail shops worldwide this summer. That's it. Get one for yourself, get one for your loved one, get one for your best friend, and I'll see you guys in VR. Later.